everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you haven't already been able to tell, this is a huge Primark haul and I haven't done a Primark haul for almost a year on my channel, which is absolutely crazy. But if you are new here, then hi, I'm Amy. I would love it if you would go down below, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to go and follow me over on Instagram and on TikTok. TikTok is where you'll find me the most active. So be sure to follow me on my other socials. Enough of the intro, enough of the rambling. We're all here for one thing and one thing only, the Primark haul. This bag is absolutely full of clothes. So I'm gonna start with the clothes and then we'll move on to all of the like other bits, homey bits, accessories, that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. We're gonna start off strong and I'm gonna show you my favorite thing that I picked up from Primark. So I picked up these yoga leggings. They are flared at the bottom. These were in the active sort of area. More of like gym wear, I guess, but I just fell in love with these. I'm obsessed with wearing yoga pants at the moment. And I thought the color of these was absolutely gorgeous. They're almost like a taupey, gray but the label does say that they're light green but i just thought these with a hoodie would just be a vibe i love the thick waistband and the material is really stretchy it feels thick like they are not going to be see-through these were only 12 pounds which i don't think is bad considering i've seen so many online for like 30 plus pounds they did also have loads of the six pound yoga pants in light gray dark gray and i think another colour but I can't remember what but they didn't have any of my size they had medium up but no small which is so annoying because I really wanted to stock up on loads of black and grey ones but I thought these were different you know they're cool I like them stick into the sort of active wear range I picked up this black unitard this is the softest unitard that I've honestly ever felt I don't think I would wear it to the gym but in the spring summer I live in unitards Unitards with a hoodie over the top, unitards with like a shirt. I just can't get enough. This one also has built-in cups, which I loved. I picked this up in an extra small, just as I always think their unitards come up quite big and it's super stretchy. So I think it will fit absolutely fine. I think these are similar to, you know, last year Primark brought out so many unitards in so many colors. They're similar to those, but they're definitely different. Like I've got a pink one, but it's in my like summer box in the loft now. And I would say they are definitely like a little bit different. This was £10, which again, I think is really affordable. I feel like Primark went a bit silly with their prices, but I feel like they're bringing them down again now. They also have this in like a gorgeous sage green colour, but I thought black is my safe colour and I'll get so much more wear out of the black one. The next thing that I picked up were these yoga like shorts. They come in a two pack and they had so many variants of colour. They had obviously two pairs of black. They had a navy and a grey set or they had a black and like a brownie beige set. But you guys know I love black. So I went safe and picked up the black ones. I thought these in the summer would be a staple. Even to the gym, I think I would wear these. The material is so nice. They're like that typical yoga pant, like stretchy material. I was umming and ahhing between a small and an extra small, and I went for extra small, but I feel like I should have gone for small. I struggle so much with Primark sizing. I'm so between like an extra small and a small. I need them to do an eight to 10, but they do a six to eight or a 10 to 12. I just need an eight to 10, like please Primark, bring out an H10. These were actually £6 for two pairs, which I think is an absolute bargain. Then I picked up this grey pair of gym shorts. I'm fully into the gym now, guys. January is here. I'm into the gym. I just, I'm trying to get fit and healthy for 2024. So I picked up these grey gym shorts. They're a really nice stretchy material, but they're also super soft and like buttery. They had so many gym shorts. If you're into like the gym and running again, check Primark out because they had so much. These were five pounds. I picked them up in a small as I feel like you can tell by a material of what size you need. And I think these might even come up a little bit small. I then picked up this black jumpsuit. This was also from their active range, but I've already got this in black and I've got a gray version and I live in them. I think because I just wear a hoodie over them, they look like leggings and they wash so well. They don't bobble. I just think they look so nice. Like I really struggle with black leggings, like bobbling. They just look crap after a wash. 
but these don't. I tend to always reach for a jumpsuit over leggings now, especially my Primark ones. Honestly, guys, I recommend these so much. As soon as they're out of the wash, they're back on me, and that is just how it is. I picked this one up in an extra small. As I said, their sizing's a bit random, so you kind of have to feel the material and think, is that really stretchy? Yes, I could probably size down, and if it's not, stay true to size or size up. The top of it is like a strappy racer almost and I don't really like to show that bit because I think it's a bit ugly. It's almost like shapewear but the leggings just look 10-10. I actually took these both to New York and lived in them the whole time I was in New York. Moving on now, we have finished all of the active wear. I picked up this like fleecy jumper i was thinking for dog walks this would be absolutely perfect if you're in the uk right now you will know how cold it is it's been like minus five every day and it's cold when i'm walking the dog like first thing in the morning i thought this was so cute i love the beige color as well it does have like a little toggle detailing here so you can like cinch it in and it just makes it look 10 times better. I love a quarter zip. Although it's not a zip, it's still that sort of look. It's got pockets, which is perfect for dog treats, poo bags. You know the drill if you're a dog mum. I picked this up in a medium as I do like it to be a bit oversized. And it was £13. I think £13 for a dog walking fleece is a bargain. It's going to keep me warm. It looks nice. I just think she's a bug. Talking of bargains... I could not believe that these Rita Aura jeans were in the sale. I almost picked these up. I went into Primark um, maybe the beginning of December with my mum and it was just when the second part of the Rita Aura collection had come out. These were there, they were £30 and I was so close to buying them. I literally had them in my basket and then me and my mum couldn't really be bothered to queue up so I put them back. And I went into Primark yesterday and they were on sale for £10. £10 when I was going to buy them for 30 I just couldn't believe it. They're just this washed black straight leg jean and they've got diamantes all the way down, which I mean, I was thinking for like Christmas parties would have been perfect, but we're going out for my friend's birthday next weekend and I was thinking these might be quite nice with some heels or some chunky trainers, realistically chunky trainers. Last bit of clothing now before we get onto the accessories and that sort of thing. I couldn't just walk past these pyjamas and not pick them up. And they were the last pair in my size. So these must be part of their Valentine's collection. And I love Primark silky pyjamas anyway. I'm like quite a hot sleeper, so I always reach for the short versions of their pyjamas. And I just thought these were so cute. Like the pink and red hearts. Oh, I just love them. I love pink and red together at the moment as well. So you've just got the little pocket detailing. They are buttons and then they come with the shorts. The shorts actually look quite big, but I guess it's better to be comfy than too tight at night. So these are the shorts. They're exactly the same design. You've got an elasticated waistband and look at the little bow. Oh, they're so cute. I'm obsessed. These were £15 and I picked them up in a size small. Moving on to accessories, I picked up some good bits. I'll start with my favourite because that's just what I'm like. Guys, I got a Stanley Cup dupe. If you want a Stanley Cup, run to Primark because they have the nicest dupes. And this was £8 and I'm pretty sure the real ones are a lot more expensive than that. They had this gorgeous mocha like beige colour and they also had a really nice grey. But I thought I only needed one. If I love it so much I might have to go back and get the other. But this is their stainless steel thermal mug. You can put hot drinks in it, you can put cold drinks in it. You guys probably all know anyway what this is and what it's meant to be. I'm just obsessed. It feels like such nice quality. Even the lid and the straw looks bougie. I've been desperate to film this video just so I can go and have a drink out of this. I'm just a girl. All right, let's talk about the candles in there. Look, she wrapped it up for me in another bag. How cute. The smell. I can literally smell it coming out of the bag. They had the nicest candles. I probably could have brought about 10, but I didn't want to spend too much money on candles. This was £4.50 and the smell, it literally smells like a Jo Malone candle and they had so many like bougie candles. So this one is geranium and patchouli and oh my God, guys, I just, I wish you could have smell-o-vision and have a smell. And it's also got little crystals in. 
you know what I mean? Like this is a 2024 vibe. I just am vibing with Primark at the moment. And then I just picked up these reusable cleansing pads. I've got so many like reusable cloths, but I've got no cleansing pads. And I feel like these would be perfect for taking off my makeup. So I just picked up these and these were £2.50. What a bargain. I feel like I should have got 10 packs of them. I picked myself up some thermal socks. Again, dog walking mums and dads. If you know, you know. Wellies do not keep your feet warm. And these feel really nice, really thick. The colours as well. Like Primark are pulling through. Look at the neutrals. They're stunning. These were £5, which I think is a bit of a bargain. If you went to like a proper outdoor sort of shop, they would be so much more expensive. Again, boring dog walking stuff. I picked up one of these things for my ears. When I walk the dog, I always slick my hair back and my ears get so cold. So I picked up one of these. I haven't actually tried it on yet. I've got such a small pin head. I probably should have maybe checked out the kids section because honestly, guys, my head is so small. This was £3.50. We're on to like the last few little boring bits now. I picked up some hair grips just an essential that you need these are one pound and then i restocked on a duo glue if you guys could see the state of mine at the moment it's a bit embarrassing like every day i've got to get some scissors down there and like pick out the old glue so i just wanted to restock this doesn't have a price on though but they have changed the packaging because people always used to steal the glues and there would just be loads of packets left but this one definitely has a glue in that is everything that i picked up from primark i hope you guys enjoyed it has been a long time no primark haul and i've low-key missed it so i'll probably be back with another primark haul relatively soon but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you very soon for a brand new video bye guys